Supersonic's money transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland with Supersonic's money transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonic's money transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. Greetings to you, my Gambia people. Greetings to the rest of the continent wherever you are. A bright and brand new edition of the Motivational Platform here on Sendian's VIP Magazine, VIP TV here with me, Tony McKeel, how we tackle the responsibilities of inspiring and motivating the current generation of young Africans in the actualization of their respective dreams and preaching the message of peace and national unity, as well as revitalizing the Africanization policy that speaks about good governance, social justice, democracy, human rights, and most importantly, the African unity. Be reminded that this edition of the Motivational Platform is proudly sponsored by the Supersonic Money Transfer Service, which remains the best remittance service provider, not only in the Gambia, but the rest of the continent. We are sending and receiving money from uh, the United States, Canada, and the rest of our uh, Europe is quite too easy in this country. And uh, most importantly, we are joined with our guest here, I said to Demba. Greetings and welcome to this platform, Ms. Demba. Um, good day, everyone. My name is Isaac Demba. I am 15 years old. I attend Marini International School, and I am now in Form 5. Um, I am a Gambian, and I am also a change maker. You listen to her. She says that she is a change maker from the Marina International School, Form 5, and she's a Gambian citizen. So those of you from the Eastern African nation of all, Nairobi, Kenya, in the key Swahili language in the Tanzania, people that say to you, Jumbo, Jumbo, Rabariyako, Komfutanya, Yozango, Komfutanya, Yozango, Nakupenda, Pia, that is love you so dear. What I say to you, Asante, Kumansara, when you quit, say, say, so the Rwandan people in the Egypt Rwanda language I say to you, Abag Rwanda, Napakunda, what is it? The Britain, Syria, and the Mendes, I say, Kamu ye nabiye luve, on the other hand, I say to you, Kai Goma to the Konon speaking people that say to you, Wente, Wente, that is the diamond mine in region of that very country. To the Aku speaking people there, I say to you, Nakushi, to Nigeria, Africa's most popular nation. Uh, Yoruba speaking Nigerians, those are Western Nigerians, I say to you, Bao Nisha, Bao Lomo, what to do, Jumenta, especially those of you I haven't seen for too long, like uh, Madam Peju, are, are they calling in the Kolade, all of you are able to do German talk to Eastern Nigerians, Igbo speaking Nigerians, I say to you, one name the number, Ikaraka, Ejia, Mechugu Abiyama, Amama, Amasi, Amasi, Oshimiri, Atata, Ikuwe, Mechugu, Kike, Odogu, Akataka, these are all attributes of the Almighty God, I say he's strengthening you all wherever you are under the sound of my voice, of course, to the northern part of the country, predominantly Islamic, I say to you, Aslam, Aleko, Wale, Matulai, Tadu, Barakatu, of course, in Hausa, language, you say to you, Sanu, Sanu, and I say, Sanu, Idua, to the Gambian, Sing, Wala, Wizen, Angadef, Naka, Bijin, B, I say, Domala, Muna, Fatsi, Domala, Musa, Fatsi, Say, Aduna, B, that is, we won't ever forget you because of the love and support, and that's it, I think I will say, I have been here, I'm going to go to the local, 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 I'm to the Liberians, we all are one. Thank you so very much. Uh, Liberia belongs to us all. And uh, to French speaking nations of the continent, we say to you, merci, merci, donors of all support. Eh? The devils are quite too busy to have disrupted this interview, so it's now pre recorded. You can have an uh, uh, edited version of it shortly for your consumption here. Our guest. Uh, quickly to you, Miss Demba, forgive me, we have to offer the pan African spirit to this. That's the reason why we have to speak to the rest of the continent. Drive us through your early childhood. Uh, uh, where did you grow up? And then uh, you're still growing up, though, but as far as age 15 is concerned, how has life been growing up? Your home, your family, and what of you? Talk to us about it. Well, um, thank you, Mr. Michael. Um, it has been really nice growing up in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. um, my whole life I spent it in the Gambia. All I know is the Gambia. Mm -hmm. 
um, I've grown up in Blue here um, with my family, mm-hmm. who have been very um, supportive of mm-hmm. all of the initiatives that I've taken in, mm-hmm. and also I am um, I'm also um, I'm also uh, I'm also a part of a different initiatives um, here in the Gambia, mm-hmm. um, and with the support of my mother and the inspiration of my mother, um, mm-hmm. it's been really great. When you say you are involved in different initiatives, please uh, drive us through these different initiatives and then take it one after the other. And the key nitty gritties of this, this initiative, tell us about it. The intro well, to the simple plain English. Well, I've, I've, I've been a part of different initiatives and I've attended a lot of programs that are aimed at grooming young children to mm-hmm. be at their utmost potential okay. and, you know, be their, be their best, basically. So, uh, some of these initiatives are the Mozilla Club Hackathon Girls, mm-hmm. which teaches young girls um, um, web literacy okay. and um, just gets them familiar with the internet and how the computer works. Mm-hmm. Um, through this initiative, I've learned how to code using HTML and CSS and other coding languages. Mm-hmm. I also am a part of the Gambia Robotics Hub. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a national organization. Miss Demba, I'd appeal to you for purpose of our audience to drop the speed of your tone a little bit so that the message goes across. Can you do that for us, please? Okay. Continue, please. So, um, I am also a part of the Gambia Robotics Hub. Okay. And this is a national organization mm. that basically take, um, grooms children mm. from their schools, from their different different respective schools and mm-hmm. basically teaches them how um, robots work and teach them how to build robots etc mm-hmm. so um through this i have competed in different competitions mm-hmm. um in ghana dubai and nationally too against other schools okay so um i have also i'm also a part of the woman boss which is an organization mm-hmm. which um empowers young women and girls mm-hmm. um by providing them with the resources they need mm. to um, grow themselves, whether they are in the entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial mm. in the industry, mm. they can provide you with the resources that you need mm. so that you can grow your business. And if you're a young girl looking to make a change in your community, okay. they will provide you with everything that you need mm. for you to um, take on an, a problem or an issue in your mm. community and try and solve it. Mm. Oh, is there any other organization we can hear about or that's aims? Yeah, I am also, I am a part of a lot of organizations. Okay. HALO, mm. it is an organization, Help Life organization. Mm. The initiative, the, um, this initiative is um, consistent of my um, fellow Marina mm. International School student. Mm. And um, I am the co-founder of um, HALO. Okay. So through this initiative, we... Um, we basically just help people that are in need. Mm-hmm. And through this quota, we've um, raised 8,000 dollars and mm-hmm. um, contributed that to the economy. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I am a part of um, the Charity Action Network, which is um, a charity organization that is run by my mother, mm-hmm. Katja Tudemba. Mm-hmm. And basically, this is an initiative that is aimed at helping people, mm-hmm. um, more especially um, young children mm-hmm. and um, women, mm-hmm. to um, just help them provide them with resources to live their everyday life. Mm-hmm. That's very beautiful that you hear that from my young guest here today on the motivational platform here on CNBN's VIP Magazine, VIP TV, your pan-African media house that connects the rest of the continent. You listen to how fluent, or should I say eloquent, she sounds. You speak so well. Your English language proficiency is at its zenith. What's the secret? Uh, well, I, I go to Marina International School. When you go to Marina International School, you speak good English. Okay. <laughs> that's, Everyone that's, there, that's, it's, that's the atmosphere there, you know? No, I, I love my, it, Yeah, it's, it's, everyone speaks good English. When you go in the club, you go into the school, you speak English, good English. You go with the teacher, mm-hmm. good English. Head teacher, mm-hmm. good English. So, you so come back are, home, are you, you telling English. me that? Are you telling me that if I pick up my son from Mama Liberia, who possibly may not be very phonetically sound as you are right now, and bring him to Maryland International School in the next two, three, four, five, six years, he's going to be sounding like you or better still than you? Two, three, five, six years is too <laughs> much. It'll give you one year. Oh, wow. Trust that's... Me. That's beautiful anyway, okay, that's beautiful. And quickly, let's drive through. Uh, I w- I'm gonna be emphasizing your age most time, forgive me, because when I look at the kind of activities you're involved into, and still going to school, I ask myself a question, how have you been able, or how do you blend 
your study time because Maryland International School, that's an international institution that has the, the syllabus that is not uh, uh, from here, which you, means you have to be on top of a game at all times to get the right kind of marks that you deserve for the level you are. How have you been able to blend your study time with all of the multiple initiatives you are involved in considering your age? Well, to be honest, age is just a number. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it shouldn't serve as a limitation for you to do what you want to do mm -hmm. or achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about balance, to be honest, because like, I have a lot of initiatives that I'm part of, yes, mm -hmm. but um, all of these initiatives, I take them one at a time. I digest them mm -hmm. one at a time, take mm -hmm. part in them one at a time. I don't try to just blend everything, mm -hmm. um, my schoolwork, my homework, and also my um, uh, organization work, I don't try to blend everything in. Okay. If I can do this, I will tell you I will do this. Mm -hmm. But if I cannot do this and it crashes to something else, I will not, I will tell you straight up I will not be. Because I know that there will be better opportunities. You mm -hmm. see, when you help yourself mm -hmm. and you're putting yourself out there to look for opportunities, mm -hmm. the opportunities come and find you. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I, I don't think like everything should be mixed up and everything and try to do everything at once. I believe that it should be balanced in life. You should have a balance when you're doing work at home. Mm -hmm. Do it, um, do it, no matter how little the work is, just do it with respect, mm -hmm. dignity, and, you know, give it all, give it your all. You're doing work at school. When I'm doing work at school, I give it my all. Mm -hmm. I focus so that once I come home, mm -hmm. I can just dedicate a portion of my time to it. Mm -hmm. And I'll have enough time to do other things. Mm -hmm. That's excellent here from you. Uh, click the button. Uh, uh, why at this very tender age? Somebody wants to say that, uh, let me do 25, 26 and have enough money for the establishment of a foundation. But... Uh, at this time, why at this age you've seen the need to actually step into levels that even people at thirty are not even thinking about? Why? See, Mr. Michael, me, I don't have money. I don't. I don't. I'm not working. I'm yeah. not a part of the working class. But um, you see, I go on, go out of my way to um, find get what I want. Yeah. Money should not be a limitation. To be honest, mm -hmm. you don't have money. Okay, who mm -hmm. cares? You don't have the support. Okay, but mm -hmm. go and do it. Just start. Once you start, mm -hmm. and you believe in yourself, and you believe in what you do, it's mm -hmm. all gonna come together. Mm -hmm. Everything is gonna come together. And sometimes it will be right in front of you, and you will not be able to see it. Mm -hmm. But you should just believe in what you do, mm -hmm. and just go on. Because like me, at this very young, I mean, this is this, this is just like this is not even when I started. I started thinking about all of these things when I was like tw age twelve. Okay. You know, I would sit down. And I would think to myself, I'll, I'll be like, you know what? Not everyone is as privileged as I am. Mm -hmm. Not everyone has what I have. So maybe I can just get out, you Ms. know, do Ms. my Ms. best, Ms. do what I Ms. can Demba, do. Miss Demba, Demba, I beg, the, 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 the voice has to drop a little bit, please, so that your message goes across, please. Okay. Yeah. So um, basically, I'm like, you know what? It should not be a limit. Mm -hmm. Because just because I am age 12 doesn't mean that I'll be... I will be limited to that, limited to that. Let me just go and start this. And I've also had my mom as an inspiration, as a motivation, mm -hmm. been living here with her all my life. And I always see her go out of her way to help people, you know, mm -hmm. help humanity. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that, like, um, it has been, she has made an impact on a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, okay, then if she can do it, I think I can do it too. Okay. And she has always motivated me to do it too. Mm -hmm. So with that support and um, the support of, um, the people that I have been working with throughout the years mm -hmm. and just, you know, believing in myself, believing in my work and being hardworking and dedicated. Mm -hmm. I think I have, um, I have achieved, um, I have achieved something, mm -hmm. you know, I've achieved something. Yeah. And my age, yeah. I believe my age should not be a limit. It should not be a limit to anyone mm -hmm. to um, achieve what you want to achieve mm -hmm. or to make a change. Mm -hmm. I hope you're getting the message here from a young asset demo. She says that it should not limit you. If you're 90 years old, there are things you can do. If you're 10 years old, 15 years old, just like she's 15 today, when I saw her profile, the kind of all activities she's involved in, I was like, Mikia, what are you doing? I think you got to step up again in some area. So that is from her. It should not be a limit. And we say that this is the motivational platform here on Sendians VIP Magazine, VIP TV here in the Gambia. The program, this edition of the motivational platform is proud is sponsored by the Super Sun Money Transfer Service where sending and receiving money becomes quite too easy. If you have a brother or sister who stays in Europe, Canada, uh, uh, Germany, anywhere in Europe, in the United States of America, you can now talk to them that that's the easiest medium to send money to you here in the Gambia. It's quite too convenient and safer. Quickly, you participated in a robotic competition in, uh, in Dubai, in the UAE. 
and then subsequently Ghana or Ghana subsequently Dubai. Tell us about these two activities or competitions you were involved into. Well, I participated in the Pan African Robotics Competition mm -hmm. in Ghana. Okay. And um, the, the days leading or the weeks leading, mm -hmm. um, rather, to mm -hmm. that competition, mm -hmm. um, it was really hectic, to okay. be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had um, a lot of work to do with the team, and I also had work at home. I had school. I can remember sometimes I would go home at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. after a long day, you know, go to school, um, get down from school, go to studies. Mm -hmm. And then after studies, take a taxi to Westfield, mm -hmm. sometimes walk to Westfield mm -hmm. um, from traffic like all the way to Westfield, can you imagine? Mm -hmm. um, sit down in class and, um, you know, we start, try to understand what is actually going on. Mm -hmm. um, so after we built our robot, we went to Ghana, we actually won the competition, you know? Yeah. We went there in high spirits, you know, we went there in, in, in good, good faith. Mm -hmm. We went there um, to have a good time, mm -hmm. you know, meet different countries. Mm -hmm know different people from different backgrounds cultures you know and it was a really um, beautiful cultural exchange okay. uh, also in Dubai we got to meet even a larger audience of people can you imagine we filled up a whole arena okay. um, it was really fun it was really interesting it was really um, educational okay. that's very beautiful now uh, based on the experience in the Ghana uh, would you love to uh, import any aspect of organic culture, or food, or music, what have you? Tell me about your name, Yeah, Yeah, Ghanaian culture is really beautiful, um, to be honest, because when I went to Ghana at first, it was, it was just the airport. When I just got to the airport, I was like, wow, this place is beautiful. This is not Gambia. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when I just got in, I was seeing the infrastructure. It was so artistic. After we built our robot, we went to Ghana. We actually won the competition, you know? Yeah. We went there in high spirits, you know, we went there in, in, in good good faith. Mm -hmm. We went there um, to have a good time, mm -hmm. you know, meet different countries, mm -hmm. you know, different people from different backgrounds, cultures, you know. And it was a really um, beautiful cultural exchange. Okay. Uh, also in Dubai, we got to meet even a larger audience of people, can you imagine? We filled up a whole arena. Okay. Um, it was really fun, it was really interesting, it was really um, educational. That's very beautiful. Now, uh, based on your experience in the Ghana, uh, would you love to uh, import any aspect of organic culture, or food, or music, what have you? Tell me about your name, Lydia. Yeah, Ghanaian culture is really beautiful, um, to be honest, because when I went to Ghana at first, it was, it was just the airport. When I just got to the airport, I was like, wow, this place is beautiful. This is not Gambia. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when I just got in, they were, I was seeing the infrastructure. It was so artistic and it was so inspiring. You know, some of the infrastructure, it was, you see tall buildings. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes tall buildings, all you see is like glass, 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 and it's going. Mm -hmm. But no, mm -hmm. in Ghana, you see like designs and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you see paintings on the walls or um and their mall is so beautiful oh my god their mall is so beautiful mm -hmm. i mean ghana is um very advanced for an african country um and i was totally not expecting that they, they took me by surprise mm -hmm. and i was like wow I'm, I'm i'm really proud to see this you know it's, it's really nice to see this and their food was oh the food was the food was exquisite mm -hmm. i mean um um, I can remember the jollof rice, that was my favorite there. Like mm -hmm. any time we went, I ordered jollof rice. And um, when we went to restaurant, Is, you, is, um, is, is the jollof rice better than our Benachin here? Uh, I cannot say because you know me, I, I like supporting my Gambian people. <laughs> and, okay. The Benachin is nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the jollof rice was amazing. Um, I can remember um, if I was not ordering fufu or... And they have different varieties of fufu. Oh mm. my God, did I mention that? They mm. have different varieties of fufu. You, and must, like, you, you must have tried the kenke. Is it kenke or kenke? Which I've one? tried all of them. Okay. I've tried all of them. And mm. there was this um, gari-like thing. Mm -hmm. um, gari-like grain. And um, when they made it with... I think it was yam. Okay. Yes, it was yam. Mm. And they had a sauce with it. I ate different varieties of food. I, I wanted to taste everything. I wanted oh. to just live in the moment. Okay. That's a beautiful video from my guest, I said Denver here on Motivational Platform here on Sambians VIP Magazine, VIP TV here in the Republic of the Gambia, the platform that is meant to inspire the current generation of young people in the actualization of their respective dreams. So, quickly, uh, when you look at your country, it's, I don't want to say almost impossible, but uh, the gap is so wide to see uh, teenagers at your level that are involved in these kind of whole activities and uh, this is extended to the rest of the continent especially with regards to our bad governance lack of opportunities 
you see young people burning with the desire to make life, to make tremendous progress, but in the quest to finding help or seeking assistance from our community dwellers or well-to-do people, some of them end up falling prey to some of the negative or social vices like advances from the male counterpart. But uh, uh, which has made some of them to go to the early grave, some of them that end up being uh, uh, victims of what you call teenage pregnancy and what of you. But a young person of 15 years who is using a legitimate fighting head with little or no resources, but just using your intelligent coaching and getting yourself involved in various activities, changing lives and so to speak. What is your message to that little girl at your age or maybe uh, older than you a bit in the village of Marakisa or Fonyi Bondali? or our Tento village, or the remote community in Liberia, Nigeria, Free Town, Syria, and the rest of the continent, in respecting the quest and zest to make life in spite of all of the numerous challenges, what do you have to say to them? I say it is possible, you know? I say it shouldn't be, your situation should not be a, limit, a, limit, a limitation. Mm. If you are a victim of um, rape, or if you are um, pregnant at an early age, mm. or if you, if you just have any limitation, or anything that is um, standing as an obstacle in front of you mm. to achieve what you want to achieve. Mm. Um, I tell you, it is possible. Mm. You know, you have to get up. Mm. But you have to get up and go out and find it for yourself. Mm. It is possible, though, but you have to get up and go out and believe in yourself, you know, believe in what you do. Mm. Because once you do, everyone else mm. is going to, everything is going to fall into place mm. and everyone else is going to, you know, um, for, you know, you might call me naive or too optimistic, or something, but this is real life. It happens, you know, mm. it happens. Mm. It happens all the time. Okay. It's just a matter of you believing that you can do it. You mm -hmm. little girl or you um, teenage girl in the village, in the rural area, mm -hmm. um, you're listening to this right now. You think that, um, oh, I live in a village. There's not much opportunity here. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, there's a whole world out there waiting for you. You mm -hmm. know, just venture out into the world. I'm mm -hmm. um, go and look for opportunities. And then the opportunities will come and find you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there will come a time you will not have to go out to find things. Mm -hmm. People will come and find you okay. and give you the opportunity. So you have to understand that you have to believe in yourself mm -hmm. and believe in what you do, mm -hmm. you know? And if you feel like there are not much opportunities mm -hmm. in your community, mm -hmm. go and find them somewhere else. And mm -hmm. then when you're ready, you can bring them back to your community mm -hmm. for other people to utilize. Mm -hmm. This beautiful, this beautiful message you've just quoted about young people growing out there to find opportunities uh, for themselves. Uh, they don't forget about their differences, the social vices that is affecting them, or challenges that are step up there. Can you use uh, one of the languages here? We we'll start with uh, a, a world of language. I want you to talk to young female Gambians uh, that are not thinking the way you are thinking. Inspire somebody's daughter somewhere. You have one minute to do that, please. In world of. Uh, okay, fine. Um, this is my yo, your media happy. Munga kode, jogger. I don't know, be, don't know, 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 don't that's beautiful. I, I understand your Mandinka is not very good. So can you just do this? Can you replicate this in fuller, please? Okay, fine. Yes. Uh, and you. Ning in my hand if you are emo. Emo ya hawa ea, go for now what to come. Fia hebu go falla hebu come. Won't go falla one go falla one de come and there or other not all. But he goes after Tawama, could you read out on in the money? Arwal lala, well, Arwa in Rundo, Arsan de Nundo, or Kobe and Imura Tawiaha. Hola ime bene under why we don't want this to be one lama. I don't need my hand in it. I make it a wally hoarder. I don't need food. Go do it now. Fear hit you. Go fall at that and there. Oh, I don't know. Pop the motor, walla ma. Pop the motor. Keep on tama. I don't need more. That's that's beautiful here for me. I ask you this question. Uh, uh, what what do you what when you when you when you try to project the future for this country? 
considering young people's life, uh, what do you see? What's your future projection? What's your projection of Gambia young people? I mean, yes. a lot of people, I, tell, I say this every day. I, I sing it, I believe it, um, mm. I say it every day. I believe Gambia is going to be one of the most advanced countries in the world. You know, mm. we're going to be really advanced. You know, the people, all you need to do is mobilize the community mm. to actually um, believe in something, you know, educate them. Mm. Just let them know, keep them in the loop, fuel the economy. Once you fuel it, it's gonna go on. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a chain reaction, you know? It's like an engine. You have to put in fuel so that the car can move. So basically, you have to mobilize the community. It only takes this one person, and then that one person can inspire a bunch of other people, and then you don't know what you see, what you do, it goes a long way, and it impacts a lot of life. Mm -hmm. So you have to go out of your way mm -hmm. to do what is necessary for you to be the change mm -hmm. that you hope to see. Mm -hmm. That's great from you, dear Miss Isaru Denba. Oh, this is a young woman with massive head on the shoulders. I can't believe that I am even being inspired here to sit here on this uh, very, very wonderful seat here on Sandy and VIP Magazine, the IP TV. If you never had an opportunity to follow an edition of this very platform, this is the one that you ought to not miss at all because one young fountain of knowledge she offers beautiful expertise in the area for motivation for young people uh, let me ask you now uh, what was the challenge you experienced on, on on these two visits that you made there was there any challenge you encountered whatsoever yeah i had a lot of challenges i had challenges back home i had challenges um at school i had challenges um in, in my in my workplace where I in my workspace with my team mm -hmm. you know it's not always roses and rainbows mm -hmm. you you encounter some problems that sometimes it feels impossible mm -hmm. to even overcome you know mm -hmm. there was a time I was so mad you know I was so angry I was like why is this happening why is this happening why now mm -hmm. but then you know after mm -hmm. after I, I came into realization with myself mm -hmm. and there were a lot of people around me that were really um, supporting me, you know, helping me mm -hmm. go through these problems, go through these obstacles. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to have had my family, my mother there with me. Now, I don't say this often, but I'm really grateful and thankful for them, you know, supporting me through these rough times. And my team also, the team that I worked with, mm -hmm. all of my mentors, mm -hmm. You know, when when you're building a robot, you never know when the robot is gonna have a malfunction mm -hmm. or when there's some bugs in the um, in the code mm -hmm. or because we, we encountered a lot of those problems. Mm -hmm. I can remember before we went to Dubai, we were so stressed. Mm -hmm. But then after we, 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 we just came together, we were like, you know what, we cannot let this bring us down. Mm -hmm. We cannot, we worked as a team. Mm -hmm. One of the most important aspects of First Global, which is a competition that I attended in Dubai, mm -hmm. is teamwork. Mm -hmm. They like to call it a co-opetition and not competition. Okay. So um, basically, you have to work as a team mm -hmm. to achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to believe that there is a, there's a bigger there's a bigger picture out there you know mm -hmm. there's a bigger aim there's a bigger achievement mm -hmm. so um, yeah. I I would like to thank everyone that has supported me because it, it really went a long way into um, making me the person I am today mm -hmm. even the teachers at school mm -hmm. sometimes I would miss assignments and I would not even know because I have this little notepad where I write down all of my assignments but sometimes I miss assignments. And sometimes they can understand, they'll be like, okay, I understand, um, I give you a two days, and then I, two days, mm -hmm. submit the homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes the work at the house, sometimes it will get too hectic with my mom, so I have to go and help her, mm -hmm. but I also have school, you know. So sometimes it's really, there are a lot of challenges, you know, and sometimes you even get into it with your teammate. But you have to remember, you have to see the bigger picture, you have to remember that this li in this life, you need to hold on to each other. Mm -hmm. You need to have each other's backs so that you can make it. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. You've spoken about all of the challenges you experienced. Now, I want to ask you uh, one of the last few questions. What is the most, from uh, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10 years to today that you have in this interview, what is the most memorable event in your life that you can recall? Oh, when I went to Dubai mm. and um, Will I Am, mm. you know, the music artist, he mm. threw a concert for us. Mm. And the opening ceremony, we were all in our very cultural gowns. Mm -hmm. I can remember um, the people from um, the people from Comoros, Gabon. I was wearing a lippy. It's full of 
It's a fuller outfit. Okay. I was wearing lippy and people were wearing Mandinka outfits. Mm. You know, I can remember Team Egypt. Everyone was wearing their own cultural. Mm. I remember Team Liberia, Team Nigeria. Well, you, 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 even saw, you, you saw my people from Liberia? Yes, I have pictures. <laughs> oh, wow. I went to the airport in Liberia and I met Liberians and they were telling me, wow, you guys are Team Gambia. Mm. A lot of teams have passed by. Mm. We met Team Liberia, we met Team Ghana, we met Team Nigeria, we met most of the West African countries. We met Team China, we met Team USA, we met Team Mexico. We met a lot of teams. Mm. We met meet people from all around the world and there was a big concert. And then mm. after the concert ended, mm. they got us all to meet the Prince of Dubai. Oh my God, wow. that was really exhilarating. Mm. I was like, wow. This guy is, is like a royal. That was the first time I actually I was in the presence of royalty. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that was that was a really memorable moment. And the concert too, it was really beautiful. Mm. Yeah. That's that's great. A, a very funny question right now. What, what's your what's your greatest strength? <laughs> uh, my greatest strength? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's my ability to. Uh, Problem solving or listening, come I again, guess. Come again? Listening or problem solving, I, I guess. Because, okay. yeah, when, once you bring a problem to me and I listen to you, mm-hmm. um, I try to work it out in my brain. Once I don't, if I feel like I don't have the answer to it, I can hook you up with someone that does, or I can spread it to someone else that I think has the resources to help. Mm-hmm. And, like, um, through that, I can help you. Mm-hmm. You know, I like solving problems, whether it's at home mm-hmm. or whether it's with, um, school or my ro- robots or um, just any problem. If you come to me as a friend mm-hmm. or a personal um, acquaintance or something like that, I will, I will try to do my best to help you, listen to you and, you know, just make the day better for you. Well, that, that's beautiful for me. So get set to start solving Uncle Mika Howard's problems because I'm going to deserve a lot of solving problems. Um, excuse me, pardon, I didn't hear you. I am saying, since I already know a great problem solver, get set to start solving Mr. Uncle Mikia's Howard's problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Howard, that's Okay, quickly, no now, I have, I have known your exactly. strength now. Uh, tell me, uh, what's your weakness, if any? Uh, my weakness? Mm. I have a lot of weaknesses, trust me. Mm. Um, I think I'm strong-headed. Yeah, I'm very strong-headed. Mm. When I want something or when I see something, mm. I go for it, you know? Mm. There's no holding me back. It's like, um, I, I, I feel, I treasure fearlessness. I treasure fearlessness. I believe that you have to be fearless. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things and, in the and, world. And you still there. count that as your weakness? No. I, yeah, it's, um, it's very hard. You know, it's, I'm strong headed. Mm. Sometimes you tell me, I feel stop, and I'm like, no, I want it. I see it. Okay. I, I have to get it. You, you know, you, I have you, to. You are more or less a go getter. Yes, exactly. Mm. And you know, that fearlessness sometimes, it's, it, sometimes a disadvantage because sometimes you don't see something that is right in front of you and then when it hits you that's when you're like oh i should have known mm-hmm. when there were other people like there were the, I, like if i see something and i want to achieve it mm-hmm. a goal i must achieve it mm-hmm. no matter how i achieve it mm-hmm. or what means I, well some of the means that i have to go to um if it's not um in the, the, in, in the accordance with my agenda of mm-hmm. course i will not do it mm-hmm. but like if i see something and i want to get it i will get it that is mm-hmm. and sometimes that blinds me to um certain things that are that are right around me mm-hmm. or right around my um, environment mm-hmm. and that's very beautiful to hear from you miss demba you've inspired a whole lot of young people without even realizing it and let me give you this today uh this is for you free of charge take it from me now uh, i want you to know that you're very strong you're very powerful you're very mighty you have a lot of and not only this country but the entire Thank continent you. of africa and I want you to believe that uh, the easiest way to avoid the destruction in the market is to know what you went to the market to buy. What am I trying to say? In the, the quest to achieving your target, your dreams, you're going to see destructions. But please, keep your head up high. At 15 years old, you've already driving on the right trajectory. Don't leave that path. Keep your head up high in that direction. And understand that successful people are failures who continue to try. Mm-hmm. Keep trying harder, keep fighting harder, even though it is not working, keep fighting harder than understand that Uncle Mikhail says successful people are failures who continue to try. And I will say to you, like Chino Nacheba says in literature, that uh, he who dips his hand at the bottom of the pot eats the What's biggest snail. Was that things fall apart? Of course. 
He yeah. will dip the sand at the bottom of the pot, eats the biggest snail. So keep fighting how to keep dip, dipping your hand at the bottom of the pot, and at the end of the day, you're gonna eat the biggest snails. But realize that the Almighty Allah remains the chief architect of all of your dreams. You start with him and end with him. That is the best way forward. Any final words before I take leave of you on this platform? Thank you, Mr. Michael, for those uh, motivational and inspirational words. Yeah. Um, those are some wise words um, I've heard there. Yeah. And um, it's been a pleasure to be your guest on Sunbeyond's TV. Yeah. I mean, your work here is amazing. Um, it is bringing together people from, yeah. connecting people from um, different parts of the world yeah. and um, just letting them know that there are other people out there that yeah. also um, want to do the same or change status quo, you know, change, make a change, a positive, positive impact in their society. So I would like to thank the whole team, production team. Um, I would like to thank you, Mr. Michael, and everyone that was behind this for uh, making this possible. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Let me say once again, we're very sorry for the huge technical fault we have in the beginning, but you've been very patient minded to ensure that this program becomes a success. We say to you, catch you and the rest of the team members on the 15th of this month, which is not very far away, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And a huge salute, esteem, and warmest greetings to the rest of the team members. I miss how it's coming for us all. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this has been a nice experience here with our young... Uh, I said them by here with a school. She shared very beautiful experience here. She was very inspiring for young people across the continent, not only in this country, Gambia. That's what we need to do. At 15 years old, she has always understood her responsibility as a young person to her community, to her country, and to her continent, where she has served as an ambassador of her country on a robotic competition in Dubai, as well as Accra, Ghana. What is more massive than that? She is strong and intelligent, so that's the best way forward. Let's keep adding value to our society. That's the best way forward. This is the motivational platform here that comes up with Ascendians VIP Magazine, VIP TV. And I say to you, this edition of the motivational platform is proudly sponsored by the Super Sonic Money Transfer Service, which remains the best remittance service provider in this country, the Gambia, and by extension, the rest of the continent where sending and receiving money becomes quite too easy. Just in case you know, between now and the month of October, they are whatever cash you receive. In this country, the Gambia, from your brother to sister who stays in Europe, uh, in Canada, the United States, you stand a chance of winning one bag of rice. Why don't you tell me the same use of cash right now so they have a chance to win some of this cash? It's been with me in Tony McKeon Howard. If you like, follow us. Bye bye. Supersonics Money Transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland with Supersonics Money Transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonics Money Transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics.